Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we will start with highlight panel. In this video, we will see uh, how we can conf configure uh, different components of service cloud. So here I am on case page layout and I will try to uh, add a highlight panel on this record. So we have to edit a page layout. Here I am and we can see highlight panel section here. If we try to click on edit button, we will see there are three column. We can change a label of column as well, like I'm doing. One column can have around four field. This is a middle column which, where I have only two fields. And that's the third column. I have only three fields. So I can just make a selection and press OK and save it. So once I save this page, highlight panel will be available on my case page layout. And here on the layout property, I have to select that. Okay, please enable a highlight panel that checkbox. And once done, we can save a page. And if we see, a highlight panel is available here. There are three column here. So that's very useful trick here. Uh, and one, uh, let's try to update any field. So I am updating a description section. So once description is saved, we can see. Uh, that information is available in the highlight panel. So a uh, highlight panel is very useful to see a kind of the summary of the record. Next component is interaction log. Uh, it is also a very useful component, especially for the call center who are taking incoming call uh, for the customer service. So we can go again on the page layout and click on the layout properties and we have to select interaction lock checkbox and then we have to save a page layout it's taking some time so once page is saved let me try to close uh, the record again and try to open it again so now we can see the bottom section uh, this section is normally a uh, we use as interaction log one thing which we have to set up again is interaction log layouts so i don't have any page layout uh, or rather i will say interaction log layout so in this place we can select that what fields of the case can be displayed on the interaction log so uh, like uh, few, you can just move which fields you want on the right hand side and that will appear here and uh, again our interaction log also have a three column so that's very simple once you are satisfied with which fields you want on the interaction log page layout of the customer representatives we can simply save it and this information would be available on the bottom of the page layout of the case so let's try to save it we will go back on our service console let's try to refresh it from this place on the right hand side there is a small drop down on the service cloud console as we can see, uh, interaction log is avail available at the footer of the case record and CSR can uh, log any information on this record without clicking on the edit button or going to the edit page layout. So this component is also very useful. It saves a lot of time for the CSR and it matters, it's a lot, it matters a lot in normally call centers. Next component is a related list. Normally, uh, by default, in Service Cloud, uh, the related list is available on the left side. So, let's see. So, this is the related list available on the left side of the console, and it utilizes unnecessary space. So, uh, sometimes it might be useful, or maybe you want to remove it. So, we on Edit Page Layout, click on the Feed View, and here uh, click on this option it shows a uh, filter appear and initially it was a different option now I'm saying that as a drop down and once we select that option and try to save a page layout now so now we can see hopefully 
the case uh, at detail page is taking the whole space on the service cloud so that the csr would be having a bigger screen and a bigger space and the related list would be still available at the bottom but it will not be on the left side next let's see how to add a custom component uh, in page layout so again i am the case page layout click on the edit button that button would be only available for the system administrators now uh, click on the custom component custom console component and here we can say that where we need a custom component and like here i am saying on the left side display a parent record parent record can be displayed using an option lookup and i am saying display a parent contact of the case on the left where initially there was a related list now instead of related list we are saying display the parent record so if we go back on our case record and it's taking some time to load a page okay let me see let me try to open a record again maybe because of some caching issue so now we can see that a layout is appearing here again so here we can see a parent record of the case that is a contact is available on the left side so we are using that left space instead of the related list we are displaying a custom component so custom component can be displayed either on the left or the right hand side so again you can click on the uh, so this is a mini page layout uh so basically if you want to show more field of the parent record mini page layout controls which field needs to be displayed when we select a lookup in a custom component so i am changing a mini page layout of contact so that uh, on the case record and here we uh, i am setting up a related list so that on the case page layout uh, i would be able to see some insightful information about the parent contact of the case so i am done with the contact layout i will go back on the case record now let's see what happens so i am a case record again and this is a parent contact of case okay it's taking some time so now we can see that parent record of contact that's a custom component it is showing some fields and it is also showing some related information so all the cases related to that contact is also available so this setting is also very helpful in the service cloud and uh, could give a good insight to the csrs about the customer next component is knowledge one so let's see how we can configure it for the service cloud right side it shows right now that i have a suggested article component that's a, looks like outdated and does not fit with uh, my service console layout so we have to go on knowledge setting and make sure that knowledge one is enabled in your org and here i have selected all the options for the knowledge one and i would suggest uh, you can go and you can read those sections so one of the section uh, one of the settings says that uh, auto search the knowledge we will see as uh, soon so edit page layout and click on the custom uh, console component so if we come here and if we try to see uh, in the below this sub type component right the knowledge sub sidebar but the option is not enabled so there are two places we have to make sure uh, the setting so that we can uh, enable the knowledge one first in feed view make sure that article tool settings is not checked so here in my case it is not checked so i'm all set now next setting is like go on the layout property and make sure that knowledge sidebar is not checked so here in my case uh, knowledge sidebar is not checked so if i go back on custom component again then i can see the setting available now so on right side i see knowledge sidebar available so i made sure that those two check boxes are not checked on feed layout and the layout properties i am saying let's add a knowledge one this is a standard custom salesforce component uh, this standard components provided by salesforce for knowledge one so once we add it and let's save the page layout of the case now so on the right side uh the old looking article should be replaced by the knowledge so you can see by default articles has been suggested on this component 
and you can try to see all the uh, categories of the article you can sort you can search on uh, just on the service console itself and uh, the best part is like if you try to edit a record at that time so here i am changing my subject so it's auto searching so this is one of the setting i was talking about initially hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new about service cloud please feel free to leave a feedback and you can also follow me on twitter and on my blog